Snap? 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 Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> oh, Yandere Dev. You tease. Congratulations. You have single-handedly raised the hype to Kojima levels. What's Snap gonna do? Dong status expanded. Oh, shit! Oh, Jesus. This is gonna be good. What does it do? An option to go nuclear. You're pretty good. Snap! Snap? 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 What does snapping do? I'm really interested to see what that snap option is. I really don't know. I'm heartbroken. I just want to snap, baby. I just want to snap. Oh, I'm going to snap. Oh, no. Snap. Snap, damn it. Snap, graggle, and pop. Why do you have a weapon? What are you gonna do with that thing? Stay back! <gasps> no... Wait... I ruined... everything. have you no one can Hey there. It's been a while, hasn't it? Let's talk about snap mode. If Senpai notices you while you are doing something incriminating or disreputable, you will get a heartbroken game over. Snap mode allows you to resume gameplay with new objectives. Find a knife, kill Senpai, and then kill yourself. You'll notice that the information that normally displays on screen is absent during snap mode 
This is not just an artistic choice. There's a reason for it. The clock is gone because the passage of time has become irrelevant to Yandere Chan. She knows that she won't live to see another day. The sanity meter is gone because Yandere Chan's sanity has completely shattered and will never be restored. The reputation meter is gone because Yandere Chan no longer has any reason to care what others think of her or care about anything at all. The aesthetic of Snap Mode is a broken girl slowly marching towards her death. The ability to run would ruin this aesthetic, so Yandere-chan cannot run during snap mode. Instead, the button that usually controls running is used to skip ahead in time, creating the appearance that she is teleporting. It looks similar to something that Jason can do in Friday the 13th, but actually, I was trying to capture the feeling of Screaming Mantis from Metal Gear Solid 4. During snap mode, Yandere-chan can no longer control herself, so she automatically attacks any student she gets close to. To prevent the attack animations from taking up too much of your time, they speed up with each student you kill. If you kill dozens of students, then the attack animations flash by rapidly. Snap mode is meant to carry a sense of urgency, so you can't remain in snap mode forever. If you waste too much time, static will appear on screen. When the static disappears, you will be teleported to a weapon, or teleported to Senpai if you already have a weapon. If you keep trying to waste time, the game automatically initiates the Senpai death animation. Once Senpai is dead, there is no longer any reason for Yandere-chan to live. To end her life, you must mash a button rapidly, representing the tremendous willpower required to take one's own life. If you don't press the button, the animation will slowly inch forward on its own until Yandere-chan plunges the knife into her throat without your input. During snap mode, Yandere-chan is an invincible, unstoppable force of nature, and students just stand around waiting to be killed. That actually describes what Yandere Simulator was like back in the very beginning, when students didn't even try to run away from you. In a way, you could say that the game was already in snap mode starting at the very beginning of development, and every update since then has been about moving away from that state by gradually giving Yandere-chan more and more weaknesses and adversaries. At this point in time, the option to enter snap mode only becomes available if you get a game over that was caused by Senpai specifically. The other types of game overs, expulsion, ruined reputation, arrest, etc., do not allow you to trigger snap mode at this time. Ideally, every type of game over would lead into snap mode in a unique way. For example, if you get a game over from getting expelled by the Guidance Counselor, there should be a short cutscene where Yandere-chan attacks and kills her. What do you think you're doing? How dare you raise your hands against me? Let go of me this instant! Stop! Don't! After killing the Guidance Counselor with her bare hands, Snap Mode would begin outside of the Counselor's office. If you get a game over due to your reputation falling beneath a certain threshold, then Snap Mode could involve getting revenge by murdering all of the people who spread gossip about you, before you kill Senpai and yourself. If you get a game over due to your rival successfully confessing her love to Senpai, then Snap Mode could be a playable version of the live-action promo video that I uploaded in 2017. It's difficult to imagine how Yandere-chan could enter Snap Mode after being arrested by the police, but I do think it's possible. Perhaps, while the police are taking her out of school, Yandere-chan would notice a police officer's gun and devise a plan. She would unclasp the holster and before the officer knew what she was doing, she would snatch his gun away, 
and with her hands still in handcuffs behind her back, she would begin shooting at the other officers. She would break free of her restraints, and then finish off the last remaining officer. With all of them dead, nothing would stop Yandere-chan from reaching the final stage of her plan, turning the gun on herself. But, the gun would be out of bullets. Yandere-chan would throw the gun away and think of Senpai. She would decide to take Senpai with her into death, and snap mode would begin. There is a part of me that wonders if such a sequence of events would be too dark and edgy, like gets arrested for being too edgy, steals gun, shoots everyone with gun behind back, breaks handcuffs using sheer force of will, tries to KMS, bullets too scared, won't come out of gun, throws gun away in edgy disgust. That's not really the vibe I'm going for, so if that's how it comes off, then I may need to go back to the drawing board. Anyway, allowing the player to enter snap mode from any type of game over would require a lot of new assets and a lot of extra development time, so it's not something I'm going to put into the game until much later, after the demo has been completed and released. I've been planning snap mode since April 3rd, 2014, after seeing this post on 4chan. Shout out to Ghostbuster Anon for the inspiration. I can proudly say that snap mode looks and feels exactly the way I always imagined it in my mind. Implementing snap mode precisely the way I envisioned it after waiting six years was incredibly satisfying. I'm very happy with how it turned out, and I hope you're happy too. I update my development blog more often than I post videos on YouTube, so if you want to see progress reports more frequently, you should check out the blog. Thank you for your patience, and thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator. Hmm, I wonder, out of all the merchandise I've sold, what was the best-selling product? Seriously, the Yandere-kun body pillow? The one thing I've sold the most was a pillowcase with a dude on it. Huh. I knew that the majority of my audience was female, but... I never knew you ladies were so... thirsty. Because it's clearly the one thing you crave the most, allow me to offer you a Budo pillowcase. Yes, that's right. You can now hug and squeeze best boy all you want. His rock hard abs can now belong to you. But that's not all. If you'd rather hold a woman, you may be interested in this pillowcase of Precious Cinnamon Roll Oka Ruto. Oh, look at her. She's so adorable. The other side of the case is... <gasps> oh, my. That might be a little too risque for YouTube. Visit crowdmade.com slash yandere to get a better look at them. Wait a minute. Wasn't there one other thing I was supposed to mention? Oh yeah, that's right. Yandere-chan and Info-chan are now playable characters in a game called Project QT. In case you haven't heard of it, Project QT is a gotcha game with turn-based combat. It's also an 18-plus game for adults only. What? Are you surprised to see Yandere Sim characters appearing in a game for adults only? I thought I made it pretty clear that Yandere Simulator is not appropriate for children, and that my audience is mostly comprised of adults. Plus, the characters are 18 and up, so there's no problem here. 
When I first saw Yandere Chan's character artwork for Project QT, I was surprised. I wondered, why does she have a bottle of ketchup? Then I figured it out. They're not allowed to show any blood in the game. So they came up with a plausible reason for why she's covered in red liquid. She spilled a bunch of ketchup. No blood here, officer. Just a delicious tomato-based condiment. They did Infochan justice, too. I noticed that two things look a bit different. But I think it's okay if they want to take a few artistic liberties here and there. Yandere Chan and Infochan are only available until April 9th. So if you want them, check out the link in the description. But only if you're over 18. Pants! 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 Pants!